Hi, this is Brennan Davis from Bedrock Games and the Bedrock Blog, and today I'm going to just be laying out a bunch of different things. I, I've been I've been really busy with Ogregate and, uh, and getting a new computer set up, but I wanted to give some updates, and I also wanted to do an unboxing video of a uh, Wuxia board game that somebody sent me. I'm going to do the unboxing at the end just because it's going to take a little more time and I have to unpack some things, but I want to show people the pieces because I'm going to be doing a play test in the next week or so, and I want to give people a sense of what the game looks like, what it plays like. I also want to give you some updates on, on Bedrock games and on, on some of the movies that I'll be reviewing uh, in the coming weeks. So, so just first things first, uh, Crocodile Sect, the, the fourth uh, Sex of the Martial World book has been released and we are, um, uh, we're gonna be taking a break in January uh, from releasing the Sex of the Martial World and then in February we'll resume. Now, if you've been following any of the news at RPG Now and um, online with um, the gaming industry in general, you might have heard that the algorithm at RPG Now has been adjusted a little bit. So whereas in the past, it, uh, it, it basically uh, it calculated the top 100 and the top 10 list for the hottest sellers based on number of copies sold by, um, divided by days on sale, I think. And now they've shifted to one that's based more on uh, total sales dollars amount. So what that means is a PDF that uh, sells at 50 cents like the, the Crocodile Sec book, it would have to sell 20 copies to equal a $10 PDF in terms of how it's being weighed on that list. So when we initially designed our, our plan for releasing the, uh, the Sex of the Martial World books, I was... I did it under the assumption that it was going to be uh, calculated the previous way. And the reason why that was important is because I figured getting on that top 10 list was really crucial for us kind of buoying the Ogregate line with those and it allowed me to justify uh, the expenditure of, um, uh, of the art and all that that goes into the Sex of the Martial World books. Now that that's not the case, I don't know how it's going to affect things because I don't know what the revenue will look like for those books. I'm going to try to keep it at 50 cents, but if we have to, we'll either shift it up a dollar or we'll we'll come up with another type of book that we'll release regularly. Right now, my plan is to continue with at least the next, you know, five to ten Sex of the Martial World books. And then maybe from there, maybe we'll we'll find something uh, like mini adventures or some something something that we can that we can release. What I like about the Sex of the Martial World books is to me they feel like a really natural sort of you know, 10 to 15 page, uh, you know, uh, 10 to 15 pages of material that matches pretty much what a GM would need uh, between sessions. So it's not, you know, it's got sort of exactly what it needs, no more, no less, and we charge 50 cents and that's it. And I really like that. So if we, if we came up with another concept, it's got to be something in that realm. I don't want it to have excess amount of pages. I don't want it to have unnecessary components. And I want to keep the price fairly low, uh, but it might need to be more in the three or four dollar range just so we can compete with other things on the list. But uh, I'm still sort of figuring this out, so I just want to give people a heads up. I'm going to keep the fifty cent uh, price tag on them for uh, for a while. None of, none of the old books are going to be affected by it. I'm not going to change the prices on those. Um, it's just maybe down the road we're gonna we're gonna look at it going a different path. But I'm going to keep it as it is for as long as we can. And I'm going to see how not because it's very clear to me we won't be on that list just with the new algorithm it just it's just impossible for a 50 cent pdf to compete with a 10 dollar one so um so instead what we'll have to do is see what not being on that list does in terms of sales and uh if we can keep going if people are still interested enough we're still getting the good sales then we'll keep at it but if if not being on that list has an effect i'm gonna have to change things and i i don't want to but it just the reality of, of, of the way these things work. So uh, so anyways, you know that's out. The the soft cover and the hard cover of Ogre Gate are out. We've um, I, I, I I'm really happy with how they came out, and I will post uh, sales links to, to all of those products at the uh, bottom of the screen. Um, I'm also going to be doing a lot more movie reviews now. I, I finally have time. I've been watching a lot of films. Actually, I just haven't sat down to record the reviews. I always like to rewatch movies before I do these reviews. So, um, so right now, just as an example, I'm going through the Angela Mao collection, and I just have two more movies to uh, to rewatch, and then I'll be um, I'll be reviewing them. 
Uh, this is one that I'm really, I'm, I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm also going to be doing a number of uh, Michelle Yeoh reviews. Uh, I'm going to try to go through her, through the bulk of her catalog. And in some of the videos, I might do one, like more than one movie. I might do two to three movies if I want to give you a sense of, you know, here's some cool movies that she was doing in like, you know, the mid 80s, that kind of a thing. So I might show, you know, more than one film. Uh, I know that I'm 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 definitely gonna do a, a, another review of Wing Chun. I did that on the blog, but I really want to talk about it because it's I, I think it's an excellent movie and it's a um, it's a film that I'd like to talk about in this format. Whereas the the blog review is a little bit more formal. Um, with Angela Mao, I uh, my background is in uh, uh, Taekwondo. I used to do uh, martial arts, and so I have. Uh, um, uh, I kind of want to talk about the the more martial artsy aspect of some of these movies because I don't always do that, and I think in her case it's really important because she she really you know had the had the skills, and uh, and and just as somebody from a kicking background, if you if you've ever seen Angela Mao, she's I mean she 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 knows how to kick. She she legitimately knows how to kick. It's not just um, uh, it's not just choreographed in her case. It's a it's 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 a it, she's sort of the genuine article, so I'd like to do a, a full review, not just of the collection, but talking about her and her background a little bit. So I'm, I'm hoping to do that um, uh, over the weekend, probably. But if I can, I'll do it tomorrow. And so, so now I'd like to talk about the uh, the board game, the Wusha board game that came in the mail. Now this is something that, again, Patrick Lee made it. It's uh, Crossroads of Heroes. It's really cool looking. This is a prototype. He was kind enough to send it to me. He didn't have to do this. I make games. I know how expensive this sort of thing can be, not only in terms of the making of the prototype, but of shipping it, and just the fact that you now are you know minus one prototype. So I really appreciate him doing this. When I first saw the project online, I was really impressed with the artwork. That's what first attracted me to it. I don't remember how it came to my attention. I'm, I don't know if I saw it somewhere or if he saw me or if somebody pointed me in that direction. Um, but it, it really looked incredible to me. And this is the board. So it's a kind of a, a, a board uh, card game type deal. You can see there's four panels. I know you can't see them terribly clearly. I'm going to try to take some pictures when we play test it and we'll... Uh, I'll, I'll, this will all be much more clear, but the cards are really excellent. And from what I'm able to tell, it sounds like you play like a, 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 a character who's a, a hero in the martial world and you need to grow your renown and you do it through a variety of means, whether it's uh, having duels with, with, uh, with other characters or performing uh, stratagems or um, you know, things like that. And it looks like your character develops and grows over time. So, and, and it's just really clear to me uh, based on my conversations with Patrick and based on uh, the material he sent me, that he really knows that he knows this stuff, you know, better than I do. He's from the region, and it's just obvious that he has uh, a much more um, uh, deep understanding of it. Uh, so, you know, here's a so he's got a bunch of kung fu technique cards, and this one is butterfly flutters, and the explanation for the cards I believe is in the rules. So. Um, uh, so here's another one, Maiden's Dance. So and they have all of the different um, uh, martial sects that you would expect from uh, a wuxia, a wuxia type setting. He's got sort of the traditional uh, wuxia sects. Let's see if I can find the sect cards. Um, I think this is them. Uh, let's see. Ah, right, here we go. So here he got a beggar sect character. Um, and I know I saw Wu Dang and uh, let's see who's this. Oh, and this is a Wu Lin card. I'm not quite sure what that is, but the art I really like his artwork, and you know there's all kinds of interesting looking cards in the game. I'm not really sure what any of them do yet, so I'll you know I'll talk about those once I've played. But um, I just want to show you a few more just to give you some visuals. So these are the stratagem cards, and this is Gallant Deed. And so I guess you would look that up in the book to see what it does exactly. But on this one, it says you gain one reputation point. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna I'm hoping to play. You know, I know I have at least one or two play tests this week lined up, and the following week I'm gonna try to line up some more, and we'll see if we can we can get some interesting, uh, you know, 
uh, games going on it. This is the, uh, I guess this is sort of his quick reference card. He did say he altered the rules though, so I don't know if this is still, uh, if this still applies. But anyways, it's called uh, Crossroads of Heroes. It looks really awesome. Um, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this game, and I was really happy to get it in the mail. Um, and I, I was I was really impressed with the prototypes. I mean, these are, uh, I mean, again, these are, I'm, I'm just pulling them at random, but I mean, these are, you know, these are all, you know, high quality color, color art cards. And, uh, you know, they're, you know, it's, it's really, I think these are really impressive. They really get the uh, the genre down. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm I know that what the plan is. I believe is he's going to launch a Kickstarter. Um, but I think at this point he's still just kind of going through and adjusting the rules, tweaking the rules, getting it exactly right. Um, but it definitely looks like this is off to a great start. And if it if it plays at all like I imagine it in my head, it's going to be cool. Um, so, so yeah. So I got a copy of the PDF of the rules. And then you know we'll we'll play test it with with my with my gaming friends and we'll see how things go. There's also a bunch of tokens in here um, because again I'm not I haven't played it yet I can't really give you the breakdown but you can see there's like just a bunch of little components and uh, there's some beads here I'm not sure exactly what these are but I'm sure they're maybe used for tracking. So um, so yeah so we'll see. Uh, again he was kind enough to send this uh, you know by mail and the shipping rates. From you know, from Hong Kong, can be pretty high. So, so I do appreciate him sending this. And as soon as I do some play tests, I'll post a video on it. Uh, I'm probably gonna post some pictures of the game itself on the blog, and and I might write up like you know, like a little report or something. But it, it looks really cool. Uh, and I don't think I've ever seen like I've seen board games that are Wuxia like. But I haven't seen one that's this this specific. Like this, like is like plucked right out of a '90s Jet Li movie where he's playing a disciple from you know like Wu Dang or Shaolin or something. So uh, so yeah. So that again is called uh, Crossroads of Heroes. It looks really awesome. And I'll be on you know next couple of days. I have something really big to do tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll be getting uh, another video up or not. Um, if I if I if I finish or if I have time before I start, I'll. I'll, I'll do one. So, all right. I will talk to you later. Bye.